Hello guys, welcome to episode 6. I am going to be talking about posting on Craigslist. There's so many videos on how to post on Craigslist. It's a science, it's simple, but it is really one of those sites where you, if you can get your ads to stick on Craigslist, you're going to get a lot of traffic, a lot of calls, a lot of sign-ups. I'm going to go over some of the terms and conditions and rules or unspoken rules that Craigslist has so that way you can um, get off to a very quick start. Okay, on Craigslist, you want to make sure you're using the browser Firefox, okay? Firefox, okay? I'm using Firefox. First step, you want to come to File and come over down to where it says New Private Window. Because what you want to do is you want to go to Craigslist and post anonymously. You don't want them to track you. Okay? And the reason. Now, this is the video, Episode 6, where we're talking about posting ads. You've already created your account. You verified it via phone number and email. You are now ready to post. So you come down to Craigslist. You can post worldwide. We're going to stick with U.S. We can also do Canada, but we primarily, I primarily stick with U.S. Now, if you live in, let's say, a state, for example, I stay in Arkansas, Little Rock. I will come to Little Rock. Craigslist, these are some of the rules. <clears throat> you can only post in your neighborhood. What, do, what does that mean? Cities and states within a 300-mile radius. So I cannot post a job for New York if I'm in Little Rock. Craigslist will track the IP of my computer and my ad and will ghost it. Okay, or flag my ad. Ghosting basically is a term which means you'll produce an ad and it looks active live on air when it really it's not. So that can be a very annoying stress stressor. And flagging is the ability for the community or Craigslist to strike your ad down at any given notice, particularly if it violates the terms and conditions of Craigslist. So you really want to make sure you follow the rules so that way you don't have any interruption when posting your ads online because that's the whole idea is to get your ads up on Craigslist to get calls. My screen just changed automatically. Let me go back. Okay, so this is Little Rock, Arkansas, okay? On the right-hand side, you'll know nearby cities. I can post in all of these cities. I can even jump to a different state that borders Arkansas, like Tennessee or Louisiana, Oklahoma, that sort of thing. So I'm going to post, and let's say I want to post in Memphis. So I'm going to come to Memphis, Tennessee. Now, it changed. I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. You have the jobs category for sale, housing, community, personals, and discussions. This is a site that gets 50 million visitors per month. So you start here, but you want to do Craigslist the right way. So that's the purpose of this video is to do it right so you don't have to go through six months of hell trying to study how to get your ads to work on Craigslist. We're going to learn in about 15 minutes. So you want to make sure you go to file and new private window and you'll know because it says up here at the top you're under private browsing. Now you're ready to post. Posting an ad takes about two minutes but I'm going to take my time with this so that way you follow me. If I go too fast, rewind the video or pause accordingly and to catch up with me. Now come to the upper left corner, post class, post the classifieds. You're going to hit the job offer tab because we're posting in the job section. You will also accept the button to accept the guidelines. And the type of job, you can post in four different categories. The top two will always be customer service jobs and sales. Notable mentions include marketing PR jobs and, and or as well as business management jobs. But for this I would say if you want a lot of calls, customer service, if you want people more serious, sales, okay? I'm going to do customer service. Now, posting title. This is the part when you open up a new tab and log into your email, and you're going to actually hop into, within the email, the training packet that I sent you, okay, if you're on my team. So you simply log into your email. Because the ads are already written out. Once in your email, I'm going to go to that particular folder because I keep organized by putting all my information in a folder. It's going to take a moment for it to load. I'm going to select the folder, which is I am in. 
which is Instant Money Network, and I'm going to find the particular training email. Now, the first thing you see in the email, and I will take you on a tour of the email that I send you later, but you'll see their example ads, okay? All kind of example ads. Okay, all up and down this email. The very first ad is one of the best ads. So the title of the ad, just like you would in a newspaper, has to have a title, a catchy title that grabs their attention. Okay, you want people to be um, to create interest with your ad so that they can ultimately click on your site and sign up. So you create a title. I do customer reps daily cash, and I also put these asterisks there just to give me a little bit of spice. Okay, to make the to make the human eye you know attracted to that title okay specific location Memphis Tennessee now in the body of the ad what do you write well that's where you flip back over to the email that I, that I sent you and grab all of this text by simply highlighting it and copying it by right click copy flip back over and you're gonna paste that ad in there now there are a couple of things you'll want to note this is my ad you're gonna edit the ad though to where it is your website snatch out my website right here and include your website snatch out my contact information and include yours everything else can remain the same now building an ad is like building a sandwich you have to have um, layers so you have the title the location the ad okay now there's a couple of things you should note Craigslist hates to see websites repeated a lot so there's a trick you can do that will save you money. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of domains that will redirect to your ad. If you want to use the same website over and over again, you have to do this little extra step. This is the basic site, keymarketingnetwork.com slash megangood77 is my particular website. What I'm going to do is add a, there, there's a trick that you do, a little trick. You're going to do this. Hit the backslash, question mark. And then you're just going to randomly type some characters right behind it. Kind of play on the piano a little bit. So I'm going to do it one more time. At the end of your URL and username, hit a question mark. I'm sorry, a backslash followed by a question mark. And then just type, type, type. All right? And one more thing you might want to consider is when you get to the bottom of your ad, scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen deep into the abyss open up a new tab and you're gonna to go to this site you're gonna to go to random text generator dot com you're gonna now what this site is is just a bunch of random gibberish because Craigslist can tell if you're repeating the same ad over and over again they will shut your ad down so it's important that your ad although you're gonna use the same ad you have to have a little bit of variety to it so that way Craigslist won't shut it down so you come to random text generator dot com and everything inside of this box is just random fragments, broken sentences. You're going to right click, select all, right click, copy. Copy everything in this box. Flip back over to Craigslist and paste everything in that um, below, okay, at the bottom of the ocean floor. Paste all of that right there. Down below where it says reply to, put in your email twice, the same email that your Craigslist account is attached to. And then for compensation, you can just fill in commission or commission plus bonuses and then check mark telecommuting okay and part time okay. Continue at the bottom right. At the bottom right again, hit done with images. All right, now this is a preview screen of the unpublished draft. This is what your audience will see when they come across your ad in the Memphis, Tennessee customer service category. If they're looking for jobs that Monday morning, they're going to see my ad. It's going to say customer service reps daily cash. They're going to click on the link, and then they're going to read the description. Now, the ad is supposed to be four to five lines short so people don't get bored or disinterested, but this is a nice size ad because it's attractive to the human eye. There are enough spaces in there to allow people to keep reading. Advertising sales, if we're hiring, take inbound calls must have a PC, must have a bank account. I have my website, which is a big deal. I want them to go there to learn more. And then at the bottom is my my number. And then even after that, at the very bottom, I say, P.S., make sure you research the company online. 
Now, with instant rewards, I included a period in between each letter of the name solely because, for some reason, Craigslist does not like instant rewards being advertised on their site. If they see anything with the word instant rewards in the ad, it will automatically shut your ad down, off. So I got creative and I snuck in the word instant rewards so that way they can simply read it without Craigslist shutting me down also. So I built the ad up like a sandwich and then down below, people aren't going to scroll down this far, you know, but I do that part so that way Craigslist won't shut me down. I keep a little bit of randomness and then I hit continue or publish, okay? Once I hit the publish button, I have to do one more thing before my ad is finally published. At that point, I open up a new tab. I go to go to my email, and I have several different Yahoo accounts and Gmail accounts. So what I'm going to do is sign out of one, and I'm going to sign into the very e email account that is attached to that Craigslist account. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in and log in. And right here, you're going to see a confirmation link from Craigslist. Okay. You're going to open that email. And this is pretty much like the receipt. Okay. You've got to click the little link or the confirmation link or receipt. And then it's going to ask you the terms of use, accept the terms. And voila, it will post in about 15 minutes. It will go live on the air. And I'm going to be really careful. So I'm going to actually click that link. And that's, gonna, that's the link that um, basically uh, will take me to my ad on Craigslist right here. So here it is. And then I will go to Memphis right here in about 15 to 20 minutes. I will actually go back and check. I will go to Memphis, go under the job category, and I will click customer service right here. And my ad will be at the very top of this list, October 26th. There are a lot of ads on here, okay? October 25th, ads all down the page. What happens is when you post on Craigslist, you will automatically get the top spot. And as more people post throughout the day, your ad will fall down the ladder and lose rank. So, for example, my ad will show up right above at the very top top. Do you see the ad right here? Start work from home PC. My ad will be right above his. And it will be there for a while until someone else in that area decides to post above me. And then I will slowly start to fall. A lot of ads that get a lot of visibility are the ones that are pretty high up. So you'll just post. Now with Craigslist, I will also share with you another important rule. You can only post once every 48 hours in terms of the job category so I can't post if it's Sunday night or sat I'm sorry yeah, Sunday night I can't post again until Tuesday night if you post more than that Craigslist will also shut you down so they can shut you down if you over post if you include your website too much or the same ad too much or if you post in a random city far away from you you know in like 10 states away from you. So you want to make sure you follow the terms and conditions. That's how you post on Craigslist. You can also um, create multiple Craigslist accounts, but you'd have to get multiple phone numbers to get them verified and multiple email addresses. So I will show you how to do that in a later video as well. But we just want to start you with one Craigslist account so you can post one ad every 48 hours. And then the good news is you can actually renew that ad every 48 hours without having to repost. Okay, so give me just a moment. I'm going to log into one of my accounts. All right, guys, and what you're looking at is what I did was I simply logged into one of my accounts. Um, I know you missed it, so I'm going to log out. I paused the video. I logged into one of my other accounts, and I'm going to wrap it up here in just a second. And basically, all of your ads are going to be stored. Okay, 
Now all of my ads are red, which means either um which means